Hey there! For today I have prepared something tiny different than I usually do. It's a hardware review of a System76 launch keyboard. So I guess let's get to it. For the basic feeling, it's a really sturdy keyboard. Like you, you can't flex it, you can't bend it, you can't absolutely do nothing to hurt this keyboard. However, you might be able to hurt someone else if you throw it, so don't do that, don't do that. Um, if you want to raise it on your desk a little bit, they have prepared something that attaches like a magnet, like that. It's quite convenient. I'm gonna skip to one of my favorite features uh, like immediately. It has a super speed hub. It's a USB 3.2 Gen 1 connection in the middle and it has a four port hub uh, on the side. It has a USB A and another USB A port and USB C and another USB C port. So you can transfer files by using these ports very quickly. Uh, of course, you can always uh, plug your USB devices into your computer, but this is super convenient and very, very practical in real life usage. I think more keyboard manufacturers should include USB hubs. It, it, it's just super convenient. I, I cannot stress this enough. I use the uh, right side USB A port for my mouse uh, receiver, which basically sits very close. I have a gaming mouse which uh, has a really fast connection and the downside is that the range is very low. So uh, I keep the range from the receiver to the mouse uh, below the minimum that is required for my mouse so it works perfectly. Uh, all the rest of the three ports I use for USB sticks uh, when I uh, burn my uh, Linux installations or whatever else I plug in. Uh, it's it's like a daily traffic for me. I always plug in uh, certain things. So one of the highlights uh, of this keyboard, it is open source, uh, which uh, in hardware terms means that you can go to the website uh, where they keep their sch sch schematics and basically you can build your own exactly like this one or maybe modify it to your likings. I don't really suppose that you're going to do that, but there is an option. So it is what it is. Um, it has uh, open source firmware uh, also that is fully configurable. Uh, you can download System76 uh, software uh, for any operating system that can configure all these keys. Um, you can basically remap uh, any key to function as anything you want. Uh, there is a function button which basically shifts all the, uh, basically shifts the layer. It has two layers, so you can use the normal one and the alternate one. Um, uh, what you are going to program on this keyboard, it will uh, remember for uh, all times, so you can un unplug it, replug it into another computer, it will stay as you have configured it. Uh, by default, uh, these buttons uh, like Super, Alt, Function, uh, they they have been slightly um, weirdly positioned to my liking, so I have just replaced them back as I personally think they should be. Um, keycaps, these are XDA profile keeps keycaps. They are slightly textured. They feel personally uh, nice uh, under my fingertips. Uh, they also come bundled with uh, a few of the extra keys, like like a tab key, or escape key from from different uh, sizes. And what System76 um, claims to be a huge benefit of this keyboard is that it only has three keycap sizes. So it's the small one, 
uh, is the middle one and the large one. Uh, I have forgot which uh, particular sizes these are. They are standard sizes, but the problem is that they are not in standard places. So what this means is that if you want to change these keycaps for anything else other than uh, the ones provided by seven, System76, you are probably not going to find them like ever. I tried, uh, I really tried, I asked many people, I asked System76 and basically the answer was always no. So you're going to be stuck with these keycaps uh, pretty much forever unless you pay for uh, custom-made keycaps just for you and that might cost uh, like this keyboard so I'm not going to tell you that this is a legitimate option but I'm guessing that it is like an option right uh, split split uh, key, um, space bar is maybe a nice option for someone it says backspace and space uh, by default there are some other options you can p put here uh, basically I have reprogrammed this to work like a single spacebar uh, because I use my right hand and my left hand thumbs uh, both for uh, pressing space so uh, I like it to be as default as possible swappable keys and swappable uh, switches so default switches that uh, came with this keyboard that I that I have were so-called clacky royals they were uh, 75 grams of, of force required which means um, these are like 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 brown keys like cl clacky in terms of tactile in terms of uh, you have like a really really small uh, window of um, of movement until it uh, requires you to push it really hard and once you push it really hard then it just drops down uh, to to the end of the travel uh, and it felt really really rough uh, and it wasn't lubed uh, 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 from the factory and um, I actually wanted to lube them to, to make the feeling a little bit less rough uh, but the 75 gram force was way too much for my likings and um, what, what happened is that I would simply uh, miss pressing keys like my words would be missing letters uh, and why that happened is because the way I'm used to typing is that I press keys with lighter force and if the keys require more force then I need to invest extra effort into uh, concentrating on the keyboard instead on to the text so these default keys uh, the default uh, switches were uh, extra rough for me I really didn't like them so I swapped them for gator on reds uh, these are linear keys only 35 grams and I'm going to play uh, a little bit of um, sound for you so you can hear it how it sounds right about now
So what you heard uh, was my mod, uh, which is pretty basic. It was just uh, getter on reds uh, for, for the switches. And I have done what they called uh, a tape mod. Uh, basically, I just opened the keyboard and I um, taped it all over from the bottom. And what this does is um, uh, by, by default, when there was no tape mod, when you would press a key, uh, like you, you can hear it right now, right? When when you would press a key, it would uh, the sound would go into the casing of the keyboard, and it would uh, sound like an echo inside of the keyboard. And this echo would come back for every key you would press. It it sounded like um, like a cave of, of sorts. It's not a really pleasant sound, and I like uh, damped sounds of my keyboard and this was the cheapest mod I can do to the, to, to the keyboard so I'm pretty happy with what I did and it cost me basically nothing except for of course the switches um, basically uh, this is all that I have to say um, I have really enjoyed this keyboard uh, the only other problem that is not really uh, solvable is that I wasn't aware that this is not a full size keyboard and by full size I don't mean that this is 10 keyless uh, keyboard that m is missing uh, the, the, the keypad on the right but what I mean is that the full size keyboard from uh, the tab key to the enter key is usually a bit, a bit wider uh, so this keyboard is slightly cramped uh, it's smaller in size which means that the keys are closer to each other so what, what this means for you is if you switch to this keyboard you are going to need to readjust uh, how your fingers work uh, and um, basically you're going to press the wrong keys uh, if you have a lot of experience with normal size keyboards that you, you, will, you will keep missing and this is what used to be happening to me for many months until I, I readjusted. Um, I still have this problem because uh, in my office I have a normal keyboard uh, and I switch basically two times uh, per day. So it's a slightly challenging thing to do. If you can swallow the price of this keyboard plus the shipping uh, in your country, I think this is a really good keyboard, not the best ones out there, not, not, not nearly as excellent as it could be, but it's really good and it's a good value and the, and the weight of approximately 950 grams is, is pretty good. Uh, personally, I, I like heavier keyboards, so if it would be slightly heavier than it is, I wouldn't mind, uh, but I, I'm not uh, considering this to be a negative thing. So about the negatives, only the the size of the keyboard being cramped uh, is a negative and the keycaps not being a uh, standard layout uh, so you cannot replace them with other keycaps these are two negative things that you cannot avoid on this keyboard uh, but the positive is uh, everything else that i mentioned so this would be all from me and uh, just a reminder this is not a sponsored review this is my keyboard See you next time.